Sawati Krap, and good afternoon. Hello, my name is Brian Hoffman, and I work here with Turnstile Tours, and I'm so thrilled to welcome you to our third program uh, in a series of special programs about Thai cuisine in the United States. Uh, and we're very pleased and honored to be able to present these programs in partnership and uh, sponsored by Thai Select USA. Uh, as a tour company, our focus is to connect to communities and give a true sense of place and tell stories that have been uh, undertold, uh, businesses and people. Um, and so this was a perfect sort of synergy with Thai Select USA to tell these stories about Thai cuisine in the United States. And so we've teamed up and have connected with many chefs across the United States. We'll be doing six of these programs. This is the third of six. Um, and you can view the previous two. Uh, the first one we talked about gastro diplomacy. And then the second one we talked more about Thai immigration and cooking in uh, two different environments here in the United States. So you can check those out at our website, turnstiletours.com slash Thai food. Uh, and we have some others upcoming as well, which I'll tell you about in a moment. Uh, today, our program is going to be about two of the regions of Thailand and specifically about the cuisines there, uh, the Northern part of Thailand and the Southern part of Thailand. And we'll be bringing on two chefs to discuss those as well. Um, before we do, though, I want to tell you a little bit about our upcoming programs. Um, in addition to doing programs about Thai cuisine, we do lots of other programs virtually that connect with different uh, partners that we have here in New York City. Uh, this coming Friday, October 2nd, we will be visiting the Brooklyn Army Terminal for a live uh, program where uh, one of our uh, staff members will be at the Army Terminal and meeting with some of the manufacturing businesses there. On October 4th, we'll be visiting um, with photographer Sean Carroll, who's based out of Pittsburgh, who has uh, is doing sort of a class on how to take photographs um, in this current era of social distancing. So don't miss that. Um, on October 8th, uh, it's Super Carrier Day, so we'll be doing a, a program about naval aviation in New York Harbor. And then on the 11th, we will be learning all about different stories of Brooklyn's Dutch history and heritage on October 11th. Um, if you want to learn more about Thai cuisine, these are our three upcoming programs They're the next three weeks. Next week, uh, Tuesday morning, we'll be uh, discussing Thai ingredients with two chefs who really focus on getting their... Um, uh, ingredients from farmers markets and uh, and discuss the sort of major components of uh, Thai cuisine uh, there. Um, on October 15th, we'll be focusing on a different region, uh, which is the northeastern or the Isan region of Thailand and discussing that food. Um, and then uh, our final program will be on October 20th, uh, where we will be talking to two chefs who are doing some cutting edge sort of fusion-y things with Thai food and discussing the future of Thai cuisine which is exciting. Um, I do also want to mention, um, we are about to introduce our, our chefs here, but I do also wanna let you know that we encourage um, interactivity here and we would love for you to um, chat with us. Uh, and you can use the chat box below, uh, drop in your comments and questions. Maybe you wanna drop in where you're from and if you've been to one of these restaurants or if you have any memories or favorite dishes about Thai food, that's the place to do it below in the chat box. Two ways of doing that, you can click all panelists, which means it'll come directly to myself and Cindy, who is handling the chat box behind the scenes and will field your questions. Um, or you can uh, click it to do all panelists and attendees. So everyone viewing today will be part of that conversation and we'll see your questions and thoughts and comments. So please feel free to use that. We, we really do encourage these to be interactive. So if you have any questions for the chefs today about you know, their, their recipes or, or about the cuisines we'll talk about, uh, that's where to do it. So, so thanks so much. So uh, as I mentioned before, we are focusing on Northern and Southern cuisine. Uh, and just a little preview, I wanna give you a little background about those cuisines, but I've got some photographs of the chefs we're gonna be meeting in a moment um, here in New York City in a little bit. We will be introducing Chef Sanu Nakapat and her niece, Aura Piada, uh, who run A Plus Thai Place, which is a wonderful Thai restaurant uh, in sort of Midtown East uh, of New York City, 2nd Avenue and 53rd Street. And I've had the honor of eating there myself. Um, uh, in fact, I was there just a few weeks ago. And so it's wonderful. We'll be chatting with them about Northern cuisine. Uh, they are from the Sukhothai province in Northern Thailand. And then after them, we will be meeting Chef Patty Noomson, uh, who is from the restaurant Herb. She owns and runs Herb in Chicago, Illinois. And she is from the Southern 
uh, region of Thailand. And so we'll be sort of moving our focus there as well. But let's talk a little bit more um, about these two regions. So we're gonna first start, so, so really there's six regions of Thailand, but when we talk about cuisine, we're mostly talking about these four. Um, and uh, we're gonna start with the north. Um, Northern Thailand uh, is uh, very mountainous. It has a lot of high elevation and lots of rivers and valleys and jungles throughout. So um, the biggest uh, city in the north is Chiang Mai. Uh, and the region, as you see, borders Laos and Myanmar. So there's a lot of influence in the food there. Um, major flavor components there are sour and bitter, very herbaceous uh, food, lots and lots of herbs. Um, and the climate there makes it um, a lot easier to grow vegetables and herbs. So uh, you'll see those in the dishes. Um, and as you see, there's no access to the ocean there. So the seafood is mostly freshwater river fish, but pork, as you see in this dish, uh, up ahead, um, and chicken are, are sort of the main uh, things you'll find in those dishes there. Um, this is actually a dry curry that I had um, at a restaurant in Brooklyn. Um, it's Kang Hao, uh, Kang Ho, excuse me, uh, which is a, a dry curry uh, with pork. Uh, really, really delicious and very herbaceous. Um, the curries tend to be a little bit uh, thinner than the ones you'll find in the South. Coconut milk is not used quite as often, so lots of soups. Um, and stews like, like this one here. And this one, this is one of the few exceptions to the rule in terms of coconut milk from Northern dishes. This is probably the most famous, I think in this country at least, Northern Thai dish. This is um, khao soy, which we'll also be talking to our chefs about in a little bit. Um, and, uh, and so that's just a quick little uh, overview of Northern Thai cuisine and how it sort of differs from some of the other regions. But I'm not the expert on this. The experts we're brought to bring on, um, they're from the province of Sukhothai in the northern part of Thailand, sort of northern, southern northern in the lower part of the northern region. Uh, so please welcome to the program Chef Sanu Nakapat and uh, her niece Chef Ora Piada, who run A Plus Thai Place. Hi. Hi there. So good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. You guys are so excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're so excited to have you. So so tell us a little bit. You're from the northern region, so Sukhothai. Tell us yes. a little bit about where that is. Yes, Sukhothai. Yeah, Sukhothai actually is uh, the first capital in Thailand. Yeah, it's like 800 years ago. It's an old, old, old city. Yeah, it's between yes. Bangkok and Chiang Mai. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so it's and you like, know, New York was the original capital yeah, of the United ex States. So exactly. New York. <laughs> a lot in common there. That's yeah. right. And so how did you guys come here to, to the United States, to New York, and decide to open up A+. a plus? Yes. So my aunt, she's been here like over 40, right? Yeah, 40 years. She, yeah, she support our family as a chef. Yeah. In a restaurant, she she's been working what American cuisine, Asian cuisines. So she has a lot of experience. Yeah. Yes. And yeah, I came here as a student, and I saw my aunt. She's my inspiration. Yeah. So we we we, we think like, okay, it's time to open a restaurant together. Mm -hmm. And and when was that? How many years ago now? I'm sorry. How many years ago was that that oh, you finally ten opened years up? Ago, sorry. 10, Ten years, years ago. ago. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. And I, yeah. And I know you've yeah. had a lot of uh, accolades, including um, uh, an article about where Thai ambassadors recommend eating Thai food, right? Yes. We, yeah. Because uh, our restaurant is on Midtown East between 53rd and 54th Street on 2nd Avenue. And it's, uh, it's very close to a uh, Thai consulate. And they always, uh, our customers, yeah, and yes. we are so honored that they 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 they, they, they talk about our restaurants that uh, we 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 are very like authentic and the best Thai food in New York. <laughs> it's, I think that says a lot, and they keep coming back when they're when they're visiting. So yes, that's, yes. That's amazing. <laughs> um, and you guys currently are open for takeout delivery and a little bit of outdoor seating, right? Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, we actually we've never been closed under the pandemic. We try to uh, feed our community as much as we could. Yeah, so yeah. In, that, in, in that time, we, we just like create some like special food weekly to customers. 
yeah, because I have um, phone numbers and emails. So it's just like, hey, shoot an email and phone mm -hmm. number. So then we have special, you know, weekly special. Yeah, and because that time not too many restaurants open and grocery stores, right, supermarkets closed. Yeah, we right. need try to help each other. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. And so of course you've got a wonderful presence on Instagram as well. So we'll make sure to drop that into the chat box and follow up so everyone yes, can, exactly. can follow you and stay in touch and find out your specials. Um, yes. So let's let's talk a little about the food. So, so Northern cuisine, I, I spoke a little bit about it, but yes. how would you describe Northern Thai food? Okay. Um, how does it sort of make it unique? How is yes, it? the Northern Thai, the Northern region, right? The Northern region. It's very close to like China, Laos, and Burma. So we have been uh, inspired and influenced by those uh, countries. Yeah. In uh, Northern Thai cuisine, is we eat like spice, uh, like mildly spicy, not not too spicy. Yeah. And maybe you you don't know, you know, the chilies were introduced by Portuguese missionaries. Yeah. So if they didn't come to Thailand. Uh, we would not have spicy flavor. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Yeah, interesting, um, right? Yeah. Absolutely. And I know yeah. um, sticky rice is also a unique thing in northern Thailand. The rest of yes. Thailand mostly jasmine rice, but jasmine is rice that right? and the north part. Yes, yeah, sticky rice because some part is close to Laos, so we get uh, that influence to uh, the region. Mm -hmm. and, and oh, yes. also uh, brand, yeah. The, the North region has like very cool climate. So it's colder than other regions. So this, for this reason, this region uh, produce like very special and unique like vegetables and herbs. That's why it makes a uh, Northern Thai cuisine very special. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And I know you're gonna be preparing in a little bit uh, yeah. one, of, one of your signature dishes from Exactly. Uh, from, from Northern yeah. Thai as well. Um, yeah. Well, we actually have some photos I'd love to pull up because I, I'd love to show people the, um, the what the restaurant looks like. We've got some beautiful photos okay. that um, uh, a photographer, um, uh, Clay Williams, who uh, yes, is a wonderful food Yes, I imagine he's really nice and professional. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and he's great. And he we've actually yeah. done previous programs with Clay about his food photography. So here you guys are just outside the restaurant. Um, and I know in a few days you're allowed to do indoor seating, correct? Are yes, that's seating? only tw yeah, 25% capacity. Yeah. Right. So we, how many seats is that? It's You have a, a, a smaller restaurant normally. Yes, like probably we're going to do like seven tables, you know, try to keep distancing six feet, right? Oh. <laughs> and of we, we prepared a, like a divider, the, the, the panel, yeah. So customers will feel safe when they come to dining here. Yeah, that's great. I um, mean, I think yeah. we've got some photos of, of the outside as well. There we go. So that's the setup. And I, I was here just a few weeks ago with my family um, and we really enjoyed it. You, you guys have done a really nice job uh, creating yeah, as garden. best of an atmosphere <laughs> as you yeah. can in this little <laughs> New York City sidewalk. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and and I, so what are um, some of your... So what are some of your signature dishes at the restaurant? Ah, okay. So actually it's from our hometown. Sukhothai noodle soup. Yes. And also I have uh, made like a nam niao. Nam niao is my favorite Thai, Thai northern cuisine as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And tell us about that. I don't think okay. we have a photo of that. Yeah. So today I prepare here. You know, <laughs> looks like a chocolate chip. So actually, this is a, <laughs> this is like dry fermented soybean paste that is oh. used in the uh, nam niao. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put in, in, in the soup. Nam niao is mm -hmm. like um, spicy uh, ribs with like a uh, spicy uh, tomato broth. Yeah, so I put in the fresh noodles. Mm -hmm. It's really wow. good. Another another uh, northern Thai dish that you never you don't miss it. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. Um, and also have, in, we... in 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 Nam Niao has like um another one is a flowers. This one called like red uh, cotton 
flowers. We use this in the in the in the ingredients as well. That's why it makes a uh, this dish very special and unique from other regions. Yeah, a little bit pungent. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, is that that's something you have to import in? Obviously, is that um that flour easy for people to obtain if they in the United States if they wanted to try their hand? Uh, this is like shipped over from Thailand. From Thailand, yeah. yeah. Thailand. So, but you, I, could you get it at Southeast Asian grocery store? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know in uh, America, do you guys uh, have like flowers in your ingredients? Like Thailand? So, I think sometimes. I mean, you'll find hibiscus sometimes. Ah, yeah, yeah. Local, yeah. local hibiscus, flowers. Right? Jasmine? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes, or lavender, you, you'll find sometimes. I don't think it's as ah, common to cook lavender. with flowers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Um, smells smells yeah. like very nice, right? aromatic. <laughs> yeah, I wish, we all, I think, wish we could jump through the, the computer and smell it with you. You're making it sound great. Um, so we had a question. Did, um, Aura, did you learn to cook from your aunt? Or did you? I learned from her, yes, and also from my grandma. When I was young, I was sent to, uh, you know, to live with her. And every time when uh, she cooked, I always like sit next to her and learn how to cook from her, like cut vegetables, cut meat, sweets, like coconut milk, you know, like from scratch. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And, um, and, and, if any and she, she stole the super tiny little soup recipe from her mom. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, you have to. That's where, that's where the best recipes come from. Yeah, yeah, because uh, yeah, my my grandma like she's a farmer. After she finished uh, doing farm, she just like sold her noodles, special noodles. Yeah, like a second job because uh, we we have like a very uh, big family. She has to take care of like a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. Um, that's why she has like many jobs in the same time. Very strong. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. And so, yeah. and is this the first restaurant that you, I know that you mentioned that your aunt has worked at other restaurants, but is this the first Thai restaurant in the United States that you guys have owned? Yes, this is our first yeah. Thai restaurant. Yes. That's, well, first and only, you don't need, I mean, well, you could open up more, I guess, if you want, you could expand, but it's yeah, been very successful. Maybe. So. <laughs> yeah, um, if anyone else has questions in the audience for, um, for the chefs, please drop them in. But we are going to um, get a cooking demo from you. You're gonna prepare that signature dish, sukotai. Um, before we head into the kitchen, can you tell us just a little bit more about that dish and maybe what goes in it? Uh, we also have a recipe that we'll share with everyone as well, but can you tell us a little more about sukotai noodle soup? Yes, yeah, sukotai. Actually, we call another one, another name is like tom yam. You know tom yam, right? It's like spicy and sour flavor. Yeah, yes. but sukotai tom yam noodle soup is different from uh, regular tom yam because uh, we will have a peanuts, crushed peanuts on the top for the ingredients. The regular tom yam don't, doesn't have it, right? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and uh, spicy or not spicy? A little bit spicy? Yeah, because uh, in, in, in sukotai, we, we don't really eat that much spicy, but depends on some people, you know, some, some people love to eat spicy. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and it's ground pork usually is the. With the ground the pork. Meat. Yeah. Meatballs. Yeah. And also boiled eggs, mm -hmm. some boiled wow. eggs and bean sprouts, raw bean sprouts, uh, mm. string beans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Crisp yeah. and lots of vegetables yeah. and herbs and. Right. Yeah, I, I got to try the sukotai when I when I visited you. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was it's so such wonderful. A balance in flavors, right? Indeed. <laughs> Sour and little spicy and salty and little yeah. hint of sweetness and lots of it's, textures. It was yeah. great. It's complex. And it is indeed. Yeah, I uh, and I brought my three year old son to the restaurant as well and he uh he just devoured the satay, the chicken satay. Oh, I didn't know there was a photo here. <laughs> <laughs> they surprised me. But yes, there is me eating the uh, the suko Thai <laughs> on Second Avenue at, at A Plus Thai. It was it was wonderful. Um, so um, unless there's other questions, um, why don't we move on into the kitchen and okay, walk us right. through how to let's, make this? Let's go to the kitchen now. Okay. Just yeah. 
Oh, I guess there was a, a, a question from Stevie that we will address that I'm sorry I missed. Um, what is a big no-no when it comes to cooking Thai food? Um, uh, well, we'll get, the, we'll get the answer from the chefs themselves. Um, I think we have some other photos of some of the food that we uh, uh, can talk about um, from A+. Uh, if we could pull up the slideshow, here we, uh, oh, that looks like, uh, there we go. So this is the khao soy, um, which I had mentioned before. This is a very uh, uh, popular dish from Northern Thailand that uh, they make an excellent version at A+. Um, we also have, uh, well, this is a wonderful spread um, of, uh, of some of their dishes uh, with the fish and the khao soy. And then before this, and of course the um, Thai iced tea. And then uh, a beautiful plate uh, before then of the, um, uh, basil chicken uh, that they make with a fried egg and uh, and some rice there. So so these are some of the dishes to to prepare yourself for when you're ordering from A plus or you're going to visit them. Which uh, come two days from now, they'll be able to seat you indoors at twenty five percent. So here we are in the kitchen, right? So yes, um, okay, we, all right. Let's come to the kitchen. Okay, we did now have, my or, is in action. <laughs> we did have another question. Stevie wants to know. What is a big no-no when it comes to cooking Thai food? I don't know how quickly you could think of something, but is there something you have to, people who maybe aren't new to cooking, who are, are new to cooking Thai food, what's, what's good advice? Don't do this. The noodles? The noodles. What is the question? Sorry, Brent. Oh, uh, is there a big no-no when it comes to cooking Thai food? Is there some advice you could give someone, make sure not to do this when you're cooking Thai cuisine? <laughs> I don't, I actually, uh, I don't know. You yes. never learned the things not to do. You only learned the things to do. Yeah. <laughs> maybe about what cooking. Is, what is the answer? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, um, well, you know, maybe, is there, is there something about cooking the noodles? I know rice noodles, for instance. You don't cook rice noodles the way you cook maybe spaghetti, do you? Oh, I, you know, I, I, used, I used to do like fresh uh, noodles. In the kitchen, yeah, ah. right. It's you know made with like um, uh, rice, rice flour, and steam oh, wow. it. Yeah, and steam it just right here, fresh uh -huh. noodles. Ah, you, and yeah. you don't want to boil them, right? You don't want to put them in we boiling don't, water. We don't boil, yes. Right. Just so there's steam. that's one thing not to do. You got to steam yeah. them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's get started. Please. That was, yeah. Let's okay. get cooking. All right. So we put the. This is like a noodles, right? Yeah. Okay. Steam noodles. Yeah, right. with just, uh, just... string beans and bean sprouts inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Right. Okay, and after that, Brand, one second, let me put right here. No, it's great. You guys can I see love us. seeing the inside of the kitchen and all the ingredients. Exactly. Yeah, you guys can see, right? Yeah, we can see so wonderfully. So first we use, uh, oh, here, right, is this palm sugar. Palm sugar, yes. Palm sugar. If uh, you don't have palm sugar, don't worry. Just regular sugar, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. But this is like more special. Pets is better. Yeah. Of course. Palm sugar. It's, it comes like the, the whole part here, but we just use only like maybe a, a quarter. Yeah. A quarter. And if you like. You, I guess it, it softens in the broth or do you soften it before you put it in? It's going to be soft in the broth. In the broth, because the broth. This is yeah. like it's like a this is like a hard texture. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I've yeah. cooked with that. I've I've made some Thai dishes, so. Yeah. Right. Of course I have. And here is fresh lime juice. Yes, squish fresh lime. Yeah, Perfect. better. <laughs> <laughs> of course, two tablespoons. Fresh. Yeah, two tablespoons. Yeah. Yes. And next is a uh, fish sauce. Yeah. Okay, one tablespoon. Okay. And after it's like chili powders. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's up to you. If you like spicy, put whatever you like. <laughs> sure. I, for me, uh, perfect spicy. Just one. The, the one spoon is enough. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Okay. One spoon. Uh huh. And then you mix, you mix it with a uh, broth. Yes. 
Okay, and what kind of broth is this? This chicken this broth? This is a uh, chicken broth. Yeah. Okay. So mix it. Oh, and look at that beautiful color already. Yeah. Yes, and you put over your noodles. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Like this. And you garnish with, uh, this is a uh, ground pork. Okay. You know, Brian, uh, the, no the North uh, region, very far from the coast. Yeah. Yes. So we don't really use seafood in our uh, cuisine ingredient that much. Yeah, but, but uh, oh, this is a meatball, right? right meatball. Ah, yeah. very nice. Yeah, my mouth is watering just watching yeah. this. Yes, meatball. And then uh, we have boiled egg, yeah. Okay. Get, yeah. Get more fancy. <laughs> more, fancy. Yeah, more fancy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Ah, it's wonderful. And then after we're gonna top with the uh, robin sprouts. Okay. Robin sprouts. Mm -hmm. uh, so what is in your meatball? Is it oh, a pork meatball? meatball? It's a uh, pork and uh, and flour. Pork and flour. Pork and flour. And season with like some salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And it's put like cilantro and scallions on that. Yeah. And, and you can uh, see all the flavors there. Fried fry garlic. Full option. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, crushed peanuts. Mm -hmm. And lastly is Crispy wonton. Okay, let's try it. Oh yeah, I wish. Um, yeah, sorry so you, you can... had it before. No, no of course. Um, um, oh my we... God, this is so good. Such a balance yeah. in flavor. Like spicy, as you said, right? Spicy, sour, salty. Yeah, it's such a balance in flavor. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it really is. It's so wonderful. Um, are you... Uh, you know, it might be a secret. I know you shared with us the recipe, but um, Stevie's asking if they could get the recipe for the meatballs as well. Or is that, sure. that's kind of a secret. No problem. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, maybe, uh, yeah, if you're able to share with us in the chat sure. or something, that would definitely. be. Definitely. Yes, yes, yeah, definitely. That'd be great. So if there's any other questions for uh, for the chefs here about, about their restaurant or about Northern Thai cuisine, um, this is the time. But... Um, yeah, you guys are so lucky enjoying this. <laughs> so everyone make sure to check out A Plus Thai Place. We're dropping in all of the details on how to find them and stay in touch. Um, and again, we'll be posting the recipes. Uh, we're watching them. <laughs> well, it's good. I'm glad someone's enjoying this. Um, we'll just have, to, I'll just have to head up there again, which is not too hard for me. Um, so again, thank you so, so much. This has been really, really wonderful. Thank you for sharing your story and your restaurant and your food. Um, thank you so much, Brad. Yes, it's my pleasure. Thank you guys. And, and we will see you soon. Maybe at the end, if you're still, if you're not too busy, we'll, we'll have you back yes. on. I'm still yeah. here. Yeah, I would like to join uh, Chef Patty for the Southern Cuisine as well. Yes, <laughs> we'll stick around. Uh, yeah. I'm going to chat a little bit about that and then we'll bring on Chef Patty. So thank you so much. Bye. Um, Bye-bye. Um, oh, so that's amazing. And I really, I really have, I can taste it because it wasn't that long ago that I had the uh, super fine noodles myself. So, um, so I want to bring back up the map again. I just want to do a little quick overview about Southern Thai. We're, we're heading down South, but we're also going to head West because we're going to Chicago in a little bit. Um, but uh, Southern Thai food is, is quite different from Northern Thai food. Um, it is in... Uh, uh, the Malay Peninsula, and it borders Malaysia there. And as you see, there's water all over the place, which is not the case in Northern Thailand. So um, uh, it's actually um, made up of many, many different little islands. Uh, the, the most famous probably is uh, Phuket, um, which is very mountainous, but um, uh, there is lots of chili peppers in the diet of the Southern Thai, for sure. Most people know, if they know Southern Thai cuisine, they think spicy. Uh, and seafood and coconut milk. Those are some of the major players. This is a, a dish that I had at a Thai restaurant in New York. This is a uh, crab uh, coconut curry 
And so you see the, the rich coconut, I, you can't taste it, but you can maybe see that there's lots and lots of spices there. Uh, very spicy, very creamy, very rich, um, lots of seafood in there as well. So you'll find lots of coconut milk uh, in the curries. Uh, this is another curry that is uh, pretty famous. This is uh, featured actually in Chef Chai uh, Siriyarn's uh, cookbook. Chef Chai was on our program a few weeks ago, and this is Masaman curry, um, which has a lot of influence from Malaysia and India. Um, so that is a curry specifically from that region as well. Um, dry curries are popular there also, um, and lots of fruits, lots of pineapples and, and mangoes. And so those are generally some of the, the uh, flavor components in Southern Thai cooking. But again, I'm not the expert. We are gonna bring on now um, a chef who's from Southern Thailand, who uh, cooks at the well-acclaimed restaurant in Chicago Herb. I'm so pleased to welcome um, Chef Patty Noonson to the uh, program. So Chef Patty, welcome. There she is. I think you're still muted. We see you, but Hello. can you see me there now? You are. <laughs> yes. Hello. Hello. Hi. So yes. yes. So good to see you. Um, so, so you're. So tell us, you're. You own Herb Restaurant in Chicago, and so what's the sort of um, um, what's the um, concept of of the restaurant, and how did you open it? Because it's not your first restaurant, is it? This is my fifth restaurant uh, for herbs. Um, the reason I opened herbs because I um, I can I can say that's like my calling. You know, sometimes I've been in a restaurant visit for almost like twenty seven years. So, why food cannot be delicious, healthy, clean all together at the same time? It's not just what we eat the food and then you know just enjoy and you know and happy. Beside that, it had to have some health benefit behind that. And uh, this is my passion of cooking. This is my love, what I can say that. And I want to be share what Thai cuisine can be up to different level, like upscale with use, you know, the fresh ingredient that can be able to find in the US, the Asian ingredient, Thai ingredient, or the ingredients that already have in the US how could we incorporate East and West together to make it delicious and save like a um, nice flavor for the Thai cuisine? And uh, like I mentioned to you before that um, my, my gift, my talent, it needs to be shared. If I keep myself, it's gonna die myself and nobody can benefit that. So uh, that's why I've come up with my cookbook next month coming. And in the meanwhile, uh, today I'm gonna show you how to cook light, healthy, simple Thai food that you can finish between 15 to 10 minutes and you can cook at home too. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, um, and we're gonna share that recipe as well. Um, but so tell us, you're, now you're from the Southern region of Thailand. Um, yeah. Tell us a little bit about the cuisine there. How does that differ from what we just saw in the North or maybe what we see in, in the central region? You know, uh, Southern Thai cuisine is rich with, God, like uh, so many seafood, so much ton of seafood, meat, all kind of meat that we have, fruit, vegetable. And it's like, um, to me, I feel like I'm really lucky to be born in Southern Thai because Southern Thai, we feel like we're rich. Even though we don't, some people may not have a, a lot of money because you can find food from the ocean you know, or by the chore, or you can grow your own vegetable and own fruit at home, even though the rice, and you don't have to spend that much money. And plus, you know, um, the way we cook in Thao Southern Thai cuisine is different because you, you, we use so much ingredient incorporated with our, you know, herb, vegetable that we have that available, you know, um, in Southern Thai. That's why we eat more spicier because we like tropical rainforest. So we have East Coast and West Coast, so um, that's how, you know, uh, Thai cuisine is uh, also, uh, you know, influenced by Malaysian cuisine, uh, even though uh, Indian that been established in Thailand for like, my God, seven, eight hundred years ago. And so pretty much we like, you know, boring, knobbering <laughs> neighbor country to become like a Thai dish. And, and especially, you know, uh, Southern Thai, we use more um, herbs and spice 
more than other, you know, Thai cuisine. But we all good. All our original cuisine, they all good, delicious. Oh, but oh yeah. Today, you know, I represent Southern Thai, so I'll tell about Southern Thai. <laughs> I know in your restaurant, you don't specifically focus on Southern Thai. You use all sorts of different recipes from different parts of Thailand. So, um, yeah. yeah. Um, now, how did you uh, first come to the United States and how did you decide to get into the restaurant business? How did that go? Oh, my God. I, you know, it's kind of, I, I'm in the restaurant business by accident. I can say that I came here as an international student for my uh, MBA. And uh, back then while I'm in the NBA, you know, I'm just like, you know, serving in a Thai cuisine, Thai restaurant, Japanese restaurant. So I kind of love cooking and have passion of cooking since I'm five years old. I uh, inspired by my mom at the beginning and then my um, great grandma, my grandma, she has a small restaurant in Southern Thai. She all sold out every day. <laughs> and then, I, um, my parents, uh, they divorced, so I didn't have to have to stay with my grandparents and then helping them make preparation and also uh, cooking, uh, you know, in order for me to go to high school back then. Uh, but, you know, because I, uh, I, I love cooking and, um, and they came here as a, just want to, you know, to know more about the U.S. and get more education. I didn't plan to really um, be a chef or be a restaurant owner back then, but I saw opportunity because it seemed like uh, Thai food very, very light, healthy and delicious. And a lot of people, you know, mostly I can say a lot of people who like educated, they know how to eat Thai food and they love it because it's uh, delicious. <laughs> Um, well, we've got some photos of some of your food as well. We'd love to see some of your dishes and maybe you could tell us about them as we as we see them. Sure, actually uh, I have so many. I didn't have chance to send it all, but I can tell that's you. That's okay. But yeah, no, why oh. don't we, what is this? Sure. This this one, this one is uh, duck breast. So duck breast with the spicy uh, chili and rotis rice salt on the bottle. So I have, you know, this like a, a grilled uh, duck breast. And this is the most popular dish at our restaurant. Mm -hmm. Delicious too. And they have some yeah. spicy. Oh, Beautiful. this one I use, I use a lot of herbs, you know, uh, in, uh, marinate with a chicken. I use chicken tender for this one and come with a sauce, uh, a, a cardamom on the side and plus the bread. This one is, um, I call it herbal chicken. <laughs> herbal real, chicken. Real herbal chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can see why, yeah. Oh, this one they call tom sap beef. Tom sap similar to tom yam, because tom sap we don't put you know like a chili like you know like a chili paste like tom yam, but we put a lot of herb into the cooking so the broth a little bit more clear. And I use the beef and we still cook the beef for a long time until you know soft and tender. Mm. And this is one of the most popular dish you know in at my restaurant and also at um in Thailand too. And you can see it looks so uh, delicious and healthy. Like you can see it looks like clean and herbal and, and yummy. Amazing. Yes, thank you. Uh, well, yeah. people, uh, you know, like I have more photo, but I have to go to look at the website <laughs> for the more photo. Oh, that's all right. Well, we will definitely send people to the website. Oh, and those mushrooms prior, what someone's asking, uh, I think Cindy's asking, what, what are those mushrooms? Uh, what type of uh, mushrooms? That's one. Uh, uh, chimeji? Chimeji mushroom, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what they look I like. I use chimeji with mushroom. I use like a king mushroom. So all kinds of Russian, you know, the, the way we use the uh, ingredient at, at my restaurant is different than other Thai restaurant. Uh, because I want to be able to, people can be like, uh, experience something delicious and, and different ingredients. So we use a lot of organic and we use a lot of uh, variety of vegetable. So this one dish is, I call the Miang Pla Salmon. Miang is like a wrap, you know, and then I, we have the spicy chili garlic sauce put on the top. So I grill salmon. So I have some like a vegetable, like I have a diced ginger, shallot, lime, bird eye chili pepper. 
and I have the spicy chili garlic sauce on top. So when you eat, it's just like a salad, like a one bite salad, you wrap and put everything on your mouth. So this one particular dish, and I have something similar, but I, I should show you photo later. It's okay. It's called like mian kam. So this one is more like uh, when you put in your mouth, it has seven different flavor. This seven different flavor is really make you feel delicious, feel really fresh and, you know, like something that you never experienced. I can say that, you know, good thing about Thai cuisine, we can use those, you know, seven cents of flavor of the, you know, the, of the food. And, and that's, and that's a, is it a, a betel leaf? That it's that one is bitter leaf, yeah. Bitter leaf, yeah. this one, not, not same with bitter nut though. This one more like cooking. You mm -hmm. know, in Thailand, we use a lot of bitter leaf also. And uh, we just put any meat, any like anything on the top and the salt and we wrap and eat. And especially this leaf is really super food. One leaf, calcium, equal for glass of milk. High in vitamin and mineral, yes. Wow. This is all natural, you know, like the reason I put the name restaurant herb because gosh, I want you to experience one customer is here, yeah, you know what? This food, this food, they're not really available and people not don't know it. Like, yo, oh, you know, you can eat it. And plus, it's gonna help our immune system be very strong too, you know, like it's a lot of benefit that we're gonna have. <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't know why. Every time I talk, I'm like, I'm passionate. I want to tell the world, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. And that's what you want in a, a chef, of course. <laughs> yeah, amazing. And I want um, you to come to try too, I, Ryan. <laughs> uh, me too. As soon as I can get to Chicago again, I'm there. Um, yep. I think this is the last photo we have. What is what is this one? This one's masaman curry with beef. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So this is a what traditional I southern curry. Yeah, I wish I had more pictures to show you. Oh, I this have... is great. We are, well, you know, and it, and it leads people to go to your to your um, website and to try your food themselves, for sure. Um, uh, I, I, I have, wanted to ask, yeah. yeah. I have a lot of winning dish. I went to compete at the Food Channel, so I have many winning award dish that I cook on the show that I won. So uh, it's okay. Just maybe come to the website so you can be able to see the, the, the photo and the food. Uh, and you were and on, what, one of the shows you were on was uh, what, Guy's Grocery Guy Games? Guy's Grocery Games, yeah. Actually, it was yes. on the show last night. I didn't even know it. And then my customer told me it's 8 p.m. Uh, Central Time last night. It was, oh, wow. really? repeat, yeah, repeat the show last night. <laughs> my is okay. like, um, I had I was one two show. The first one is spiciest episode, and the second one is ultimate spicy game. If you search YouTube and you type in that, you can watch me. It was fun though. <laughs> I bet I bet. Um, so uh, if people are near Chicago or or coming to Chicago, where is your restaurant located? How can they find you? You know, we are a little bit north of uh, downtown Chicago, which is which is about ten. 10 to 12 minutes uh, from downtown Chicago, a little bit north. So um, my restaurant close to, uh, we, they call uh, North Chinatown. So I could be able to like get fresh ingredients all the time. It's just feel about like a miles away from the, from the market, you know, the fresh market. That is mm -hmm. definitely helpful. Um, and so what are you gonna prepare for us today? And why did you choose this dish for us? Okay, actually, you know, you know, Southern Thai cuisine, they have so many different dishes that you showed earlier. I saw that. But I want to make something more like simple and easy. And also people can find ingredients easily for any grocery that, you know, close by them. So I call this one spicy turmeric chicken. So um, the reason I use this dish because it can fit it in between 15 to 10 minutes. Because I'm a chef, I cook, you know, like 10 minutes done, you know, but uh, for people, you know, it may take a little bit longer. But um, the reason I put this, this, because I love the turmeric. You know, Southern Thai cuisine, we use a lot of turmeric in corporate our food. Curry, saute, stir fry, soup. Um, even though, you know. Um, we lost you for a second, chef. Your video, for some reason, went out. Oh, really? Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. Hold on. It's that's a, oh, they're back. Oh, you can see me back. 
Okay, I need to plug. I need to plug in. Uh, I'm sorry, the 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 battery. Oops. Oh, that's that's okay. fine. Sure, sorry. sure. Um, that's okay. You know, turmeric uh, is uh, an ingredient. Of course, they've been using in Thailand for forever, uh -huh. but yes, I, yes. it's something I think that's become kind of trendy in the United States recently. I mean, I I've been to coffee shops that are making turmeric lattes now. You know, and I think oh, people realize right. the health right. benefit. Right, you right? Know, you've seen this. <laughs> right, right. Okay, oh, okay. You know those help, but can, can you see me now? I'm sorry. Uh, okay, yeah, once you okay. move. Woo. Yeah, there you go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've been okay. standby for a long time. <laughs> and then oh, of course, okay. no worries. Uh -huh. So, no worries. you know, like, like uh, um, turmeric is, to me, it's like, I drink it as a tea too, you know, like a turmeric tea. And it's really helped us, you know, I want to, people can, can really look up uh, the ingredient that we have. It's easy to find. Um, you know, this is turmeric, the one that I, I can all get, you know, all year round. This one, uh, a fresh one. And also they have the frozen, people can buy in frozen and keep in frozen. And also if you don't have it here, <laughs> Oop, turmeric powder. <laughs> so every morning I mix turmeric powder, green tea, those oh, tea yeah. stuff, you know, for drinking. Well, that's probably, that's probably why uh, Stevie, Stevie uh, who's watching, I uh, said how much he loves your passion for food and maybe it's the turmeric is giving you energy, but he says it's really inspiring to see the spark in your eye uh, yeah. as you talk about your goals. So, I it, I, I'm so I excited, agree. every time. <laughs> yeah. Every time I talk to customers, I talk to anybody, oh my God. I don't it's know. amazing. <laughs> well, why don't, we, um, why don't we prepare the turmeric chicken if, if you're ready? We'd love to see yeah, it yeah. and we will uh, also, um, oh, I'm sorry, Stevie. Uh, it's a she, Stevie is a she. I should we shouldn't have a sorry about mm. that. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's see the dish. Let's see to, uh, the turmeric chicken. Okay, sure. All right. Let me start start with the fire first. Mm, okay. Let me move around the camera a little bit so you can see my pan. Uh huh. <clears throat> can you see it? Okay. Move the table. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. Today is my day we, off. <laughs> that's fine. Well, thank you for doing this in your home, which is amazing. you know what you oh, it, a lot of people they surprised. How do you survive? You open the restaurant only three days a week, you know. <laughs> so you open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, uh -huh. um, from five p.m. Uh, to nine p.m. So the, um, only like a not long hour. So. You know, I don't want to, I've been a restaurant visit and work for seven days a week for many years, so I'm getting old. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a lot of work. There's a lot yeah, of work. Yeah, I know because of my love. Who want to want to eat? Okay, we I'm only open three days, that's it, you know. <laughs> okay, yeah. now, first thing, I just start with oil. So I don't want to put too much. I want to do too little. So, um, you know, sometimes the, the meat the, that I use, you can use the chicken bread, or you can use the chicken tender. I don't know. You can see. Can you guys see? Yeah, it? we can. Yeah, there's a little bit of a glare, but we can see it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. There you go. And yeah. uh, you can do like a dark meat also. For me personally, I like dark meat. You know. <laughs> yeah. And and so what so I do, I do here because I I um I use the ingredient I use pepsi. So one of the ingredient I have is a. Uh, um, Turmeric. Okay, let me show you this. I will show the ingredients so you guys can see it. I have Thai chili pepper. So I grow at home and my restaurant is organic too. Oh. We grow a lot of herb and vegetable <laughs> during the so summertime. Nice. And yeah. this is turmeric. So I took the skin out. So I use this turmeric and I have fresh garlic in here. Now, can do this there. And you know, I use this uh, um, sweet mini pepper. This one is, um, I like the sweetness, but it's, people doesn't have it. This is red bell pepper. I like food, not just only eating and delicious. It has to be beautiful. Mm. And first thing, this dish, I think it's good with a fried egg. So I'm going to show you how to make fried egg first. Oh, great. Okay. And then after that, I can do the same oil to saute stir fry, you know, spicy turmeric chicken. And what kind of oil are you using here? Is Canola oil? Or? You know, you can use canola oil. But for me, I like to use like um, avocado oil 
uh, rice bran oil. In Thailand, we have very healthy, delicious rice bran oil. And also, I like to use the um, grape, you know, oil, grape seed oil, sunflower, you know, things like that. So, um, I like a lot of stuff healthy. <laughs> yeah, it so great. what I did, you know, my personally at the restaurant, so I mix those oil together, you know, avocado oil, uh, you know, like avocado, um, sunflower oil, um, a little bit of the olive oil. <laughs> Okay, now as you can see, the chicken fry a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and now I'm gonna wait a little bit. So when you cook the fry egg like this, let me move, you can see better, hopefully. I love that you're doing this in your living room for us. This is really a treat, thank you. <laughs> oh, careful. Almost accident. <laughs> It's okay. this is not my kitchen. <laughs> no, of course, but okay. sure, it's okay. My my kitchen like face to the wall. So that maybe I'll I'll do right here, you know. <laughs> okay. This is like one so, of those TV chef challenges. Cook a meal in your kitchen or in you know, your living room. Let's go. This is like a practice because I'm going to have my YouTube channel coming. So oh, perfect. I get, well, um, something to right. If anyone wants to see how I cook the food, maybe uh, follow me so I can make the uh, uh, show you how to cook, you know, good food. So, food. yeah. All right, so yeah. you fry the egg first and then mm -hmm. take it out. All right, now I'm gonna do the same oil. Okay, here I already made the uh, the oops, the chili and garlic ready. I pound it okay. together, as you can see here. Yeah, that's so just I, the, I, the I chili and garlic. Stuff. To power it, yeah. Yeah. And same yeah, thing, right. and same thing with turmeric. So I'm powered too. Yeah. So I love the um, aroma of the uh, turmeric. So yeah. as you can see, I don't know if you can see or not. Yes. Yeah, we can. Mm -hmm. And this is the chili and garlic, so we put inside. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna show a little bit of you know how I powered it. Right. And after that, I'm gonna um, use some other already, you know, finished product. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. As okay, you that. do at a restaurant, you prepare in advance. Yep. Mm -hmm. Maybe next time, you know, you can come to a restaurant. I have a, I have a cooking class also. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Thank you. It's fun. It's, you know, when you do what you love, it's always it, you know it's the fun. Best. Oh, you don't yeah. feel you work. You feel you play something. You know. <laughs> Yep, it's the dream to do what you love. Yeah. Yep. Um, so now, now as you can see, yeah. So I put the turmeric, chili, and garlic, the one I already piled, put together. So I'm just saute a little bit to get the um, aroma and get the uh, flavor coming out from the. Um, from this and now I add a little bit oil, so another half teaspoon. So basically, I use between like one or one and a half tablespoon in terms of you know cooking. So now this is the chicken breast that I already uh -huh. cut. So I use about like three hundred um, grams. You know, you see the color yellow. Turning yellow, beautiful. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me go closer. Ooh. It's amazing how I think I can smell these things. <laughs> the chefs yeah, are cooking. Yeah. I feel like I can smell it. Yeah. Okay, you can smell it, really? <laughs> uh, no, not really, but in my mind, I can. It's it's incredible. Yeah. Um, you gotta food works that way. You know, memories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, and these ingredients, as you mentioned, are super easy for everyone to find. They don't need to be near such oh. a, you know, a strictly specialty market? Actually, um, you know, for some people, they, they could not find like frozen turmeric or, right. you know, like fresh turmeric. Get this one. You know, but right now, I think a lot of grocery, they also available and selling the turmeric because of the health benefit and people already know about turmeric, you know? Yep. Yeah. Turmeric nah, is definitely. I'm only going to saute stir fry maybe, you know, two to three minutes to make sure the chicken cook. 
And then I'm going to put the sauce. Sweet sauce. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Like I said, when I put the recipe, it's try something in this bean because some people might like different flavor. So cooking is like uh, you have to adjust, you know, balance the flavor and put a little bit ingredient in order to um, and taste it. But I put a little bit of sugar. Normally I use the palm sugar. Right. The palm sugar is it's not food as sweet like you know as a regular uh, uh, sugar. But this one is really. But this one is and bring out uh, bring out some some other flavors. You know, in Thai cuisine, you know, the uh, palm sugar sauce is much healthier. Mm -hmm. Can you see this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, my god, my chicken almost color. done. So when the my chicken almost done, what I did here, I, I what I'm sorry, what I'm going to do here. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I would be too if that food was about oh, to be I, ready for me I, to eat. I put the, <laughs> the the sweet mini pepper. Yes. The one that already cut to make the color. You know, for me, my personal, I love basil. And I have yeah, many too. different kinds of basil that I use and grow in my restaurant. Uh, we have like a holy basil, it's like a Thai style basil, and this one sweet basil I grow in my house. And um, and I have the other one we call lemon basil, which it can easy to buy too, you know, in the summertime. So I like the colorful because I have yellow, I have red, I have orange, but I need green. So I'm gonna add this one to get more. Um, um, flavor and more you know healthier into using herb and i've heard that health wise you're supposed to eat all different colors your food should be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as many colors you're as possible right. so, yeah yeah fruit and vegetable um, color mm -hmm. okay, <laughs> so stevie stevie wants to know if you would ever consider opening a restaurant in um new york city uh <laughs> you yeah you don't no. have any other restaurants outside of all your restaurants no. have been in chicago not no, yet <laughs> I'm waiting one day. I have some like a partnership with some investor. Maybe we can have up Chicago, up New York, you know? <laughs> ah, I think that would be great. Um, Cindy yeah. also wants to know if it's hard, if it's hard for you to find any ingredients in the U.S. that are common in Southern Thailand. Is there anything um, that you can't find? No. You know what? Also in the future, you know, um, for my restaurant, I'm going to be able to also have an ingredient that people can order. I can ship anywhere in the country, in the US too. Yeah, in terms of using Thai ingredients and what we need to use. That's gonna be like soon. I'm working with oh. the square right now. <laughs> okay, that's oh. done. Oh my god, delicious. Oh, I okay, can let tell. Oh, you put a pan first. Mm. Uh. Very good. Uh. And it's five o'clock right. here in New York, and it's dinner time oh, really? is approaching. So, okay, yes. oh, we're approaching now. All right, so you can have no, I mean, it's rice. rice. Mm -hmm. So I'm Steamed gonna rice. Put on jasmine rice. Down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take and a photo and send it to you later too. Oh yeah, please. And we uh, we've shared the recipe with everyone, and we've also uh, mm -hmm. sharing all the ways to stay in touch with with herb. Um, this is great. If anyone has any other final questions, um, mm -hmm. and I would love to, um, well, I guess we'll get, we'd love to get one more shot of the, the finished dish. Oh. oh, beautiful. All the colors. Oh, I want to, oh. I want to start you with know, the Sukhothai noodle soup and then move on to the turmeric chicken. Right. Like Normally at my here. restaurant, I, I use like flour, made in Kai flour, pansy, orchid, or added flour. But today I just make something simple because you're not gonna have flour at home. Okay. Yeah, but it you wanna take delicious. pictures, Cindy? Oops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do a screenshot. Um, well, you know, uh, thank you so much, Chef Patty. I I'd love to bring back on uh, Chef Aura and Sunan to uh, to to say thank you and to bring everyone to get bring the North and South together here. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Hi. Hi, Chef Patty. Hi. Hi, Chef. I watched your show earlier. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> Make me hungry. I want to get yes. your turmeric chicken as well. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I got to eat the, your cow soy too, you know? Yeah, it looks so yummy. Yeah. 
<laughs> so wonderful. Well, thank both you. both of you, thank you so much for sharing your stories. I, I, we've learned so much about the different cuisines and about and about your passions for uh, for this cuisine. So, so thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, thank, thank you so, so much, uh, Brian. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, I'm hopefully we see one day. <laughs> yeah. Well, somewhere in between Chicago and New York, we'll meet. Um, yeah. So, uh, so uh, I, I just want to thank everyone else for joining us today. Uh, remember, we'll be back on Tuesday next week with another program uh, discussing Thai ingredients. And we have some upcoming programs this week that you should check out on turnstyletours.com. My sincerest thanks once again to Chefs Aura, Sunan, and Patty for sharing their stories and recipes with us. And thank you to Thai Select USA who... Um, uh, sponsored today and all of our programs, and this has been in partnership with them and uh, and their restaurants. So thank you again, uh, and um, and thank you all. Really, uh, we, we couldn't do these without you as well. So uh, there are two wonderful chefs from today once again. Uh, thank you all, everyone. Uh, have a great evening. I hope you have as good of a dinner as as the two chefs are having right now. Uh, thank you so much. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.